all right welcome everybody today we're going to change things up normally most of my videos are on the sprinter vans today we're covering our 2016 ford transit 3500 has the 3.2 liter inline power stroke five cylinders um i want to call this video the engineering disaster because this is just small stuff but will cause you headaches down the road so first one being this coolant hose here if you can see the cut in it what caused the problem heater hose has a small clip that held it in place right here of course the clip come loose fell down cut a hole in the coolant hose so from there while we were in the process of getting that one off we also found this battery cable that feeds the fuse panel if you can see the hole were up through the loom as caused by the clamp right there um, it actually started cutting into the cable as well so when I say disaster I mean why have that many clamps and pieces in a heater hose as you can see we're pieced here we make a loop we have another mountain bracket here with another coupler two more clamps just to get back here to me that's overkill but like I say I'm not an engineer I don't get paid for that um, other things with these vans front seal has been known to leak front cover has been known to leak this one is actually dry today um, I get on another one I'll show you what front cover is leaking so from there we're going to slide underneath the van I apologize for the noise and the wind we're outside here so take a look at these CAC hoses we're pieced together here as well I understand they had to put the silencer in it but I've actually already had these hoses blow apart and they get a little oil saturated keep a close eye on your clamps um, they will blow apart eventually uh, just give it time that's on the passenger side we're gonna move over here to the driver's side I've actually got this section apart it's also pieced together pieces together there with the sensor and then into the cooler what I really want to see if I can show you guys is the inside of the intake already I don't know how well everybody can see that it's dark out here um, we've already got soot and carbon build up at 31,000 miles we're already getting a fair amount of build up to me that's going to be a problem later down the road so keep your eyes peeled for videos later on and also I know we've already had uh or i have already seen egr failures uh watch for white smoke overheating um things like that from there we're going to step back here and take a look at the brake system now keep in mind this is a 3500 chassis uh if you'll take a look now these brakes were not wore out all the way but I've already had to pre replace pads on vans that have 25,000 miles on them and it's almost metal on metal. The reason I grabbed this one is, well, one, the truck was down at the moment and this pad has already got heat cracking and splitting. Still had some meat on it, but at this point it goes pretty quick and it all depends on driving habit. Um, there's a new pad, you can see the di thickness difference. Um, a few tips on these is when you do these you'll have one pad that has the little pin right there that goes against your caliper because these calipers here are also parking brake incorporated so you do need the tool to push them in and spin them all at the same time if you look they have an arrow on the direction that they go back in so get you a tool kit or something i've got the gear wrench brand pushes the caliper in as it rotates it and turns it back in as well will make your life a lot easier um so do that and like i said also make sure the clip or the pin side goes against the caliper side you'll know because it won't go back together on top of that keep an eye on your rotors because they do start getting grooves cut in them. Wheel seals, uh, I've replaced probably six or seven wheel seals on different vans already. So keep an eye out for your wheel seals leaking. Um, brakes anywhere from 
22 to 34,000 miles I've seen them last. I uh, actually had one got into the rotors before got to it. So just a few things to watch for on these vans. Um, these pads, not much bigger than what you run on your four-door SUV. So kind of surprising to me. Like I said, that's why I'm calling this video the engineering disaster. So just be prepared if you own one of these vans to do rear brakes. Now the front brakes are a little bit different. Uh, if we could get in there to see them good, I'd show you that they're hardly wore at all at 31,000. So just thought I'd share that. Hope everybody enjoys it. And as soon as we find other things wrong with these vans, I'll definitely post it and share it.